My name is Sophie Yang and I help building a developer tool that loads web faster with HTTP2 server push. HTTP server push is a performance technique that reduces unnecessary round trips between server and browsers. So in a typical web server communications, browser will send a request to a remote server and the server will respond with the re requested content. And then once browser receives those content, um, it will parse through to find, to discover those assets that have been referenced, this, referenced in the documents. So in this case, um, web browser noticed that index.html has reference style CSS, so it will make a separate request to a server to receive that um, style CSS. But imagine the case where index.html reference 10 or 20, um, um, 10 or 20 assets uh, such as style sheets or images or um, scripts, then in that case, there'll be 10 round trips and it doesn't sound very efficient. Um, it delays rendering and it, in, it increases load time. So what can we do about this? HTTP server push is a solution to this problem. What it does is that we no longer need browser to parse through and explicitly ask for those assets and make separate requests. Um, instead, server pushes those um, assets, those, uh, server pushes those assets um, when index.html is requested. The question is then, how does server know what to push? How do we use this technology? Uh, we do it by giving a server to-do list. A manifest JSON file is equivalent to to-push list. It's a list of dependencies that uh, indicates to server what to push. So for instance, um, you see index.html here and then main.css and image file. So these are dependent on uh, index.html reference those so we can put that in a manifest JSON file. So faster web loading is pretty cool, but we have to manually type up all those like 100 dependencies. It's not very exciting. So what, we can, what, so what my friend and I built was that we built a command line, we, uh, command line that auto detects those dependencies and generate a manifest file. So I have a code demo for you. Uh, I did it, I generated manifest on my static website. Uh, so the first step is that I installed a package called common source manifest and then ran manifest generate. So I will So I installed it. And I ran the uh, command line. So what this command line does is that, do you see server push here? So it uh, detected all the dependencies in HTML, CSS, and Java uh, JS files. So what I did, uh, what we did was we used the HTML, uh, HTML, CSS, and JS parsers to detect those. And second step is, Oh, cool. Second step is that I wanted to make sure that it really, the push, HTTP push is actually works or not. So I spin up the local develop, uh, dev server and so, um, check whether it works. So I installed the package. Okay. And I started the server. And I opened up my local host. And I check and inspect the element to see whether um, it has pushed the uh, dependencies or not. So when you see here, do you see push? So it's actually, it's working. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so lastly, I really love this technology, so I deploy it to production. 
So what I did was I ran, I installed an, another package and deployed it on the common source. Oh, no. oh sorry. So I'm running the deploy command line and indicate where all my assets are, are located. And I can either customize my domain name or give or choose any of the uh, options. And manifest file is the server push JSON that I generated with the other uh, command line. Be slow. Okay. So it is deployed or not? So it is pushing. Yay. So so many. Uh, I so I have a chance to use this. I I loaded my web with uh, manifest, but what if I don't use common source yet? You know, I what if I have a static website on servers like Apache or Nginx or cloud services like Cloudflare or Netlify? Uh, what what we have is that we have another command one line command line uh, one command line that translates manifest JSON to each format. So I already have created server push JSON and then it is translating to Apache format. It is translating into Nginx format. And <coughs> and Cloudflare. Lastly. and Netlify. <laughs> yep. So that was, so Common Source is a free and open source um, project that I happen to fall in love with. Uh, it is. Uh, I think I consider it as a next generation content develop, uh, content delivery network, um, because I say next generations because um, I, as a private individual, not a big server center, can uh, make make web load faster without uh, by hosting a mini server. And then I've been in, I've been helping my friends, and then I've been really enjoying it. So check this out if you have a time, and thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie.